The 24-hour clock is the convention of time keeping in which the day runs from midnight to midnight and is divided into 24 hours, indicated by the hours passed since midnight, from 0 to 23. This system is the most commonly used time notation in the world today, and is used by International Standard ISO 8601. A limited number of countries, particularly English speaking, use the 12 hour clock, or a mixture of the 24 and 12 hour time systems. In countries where the 12 hour clock is still dominant, some professions prefer to use the 24 hour clock. For example, in the practice of medicine the 24-hour clock is generally used in documentation of care as it prevents any ambiguity as to when events occurred in a patient's medical history. In the United States and a handful of other countries, it is popularly referred to as military time. Description A time of day is written in the 24-hour notation in the form HH, M, for example 1.23 or HH, M, SS for example, 1 hour 23 minutes and 45 seconds, where HH 00 to 23 is the number of full hours that have passed since midnight, M 00 to 59 is the number of full minutes that have passed since the last full hour, and SS 00 to 59 is the number of seconds since the last full minute. In the case of a leap second, the value of SS may extend to 60. A leading zero is added for numbers under 10, but it is optional for the hours. The leading zero is very commonly used in computer applications, and always used when a specifications require it for example, ISO 8601. Where subsecond resolution is required, the seconds can be a decimal fraction, that is, the fractional part follows a decimal dot or comma, as in 1 hour 23 minutes and 45 seconds.678. The most commonly used separator symbol between hours, minutes and seconds is the colon, which is also the symbol used in ISO 8601. In the past, some European countries used the dot on the line as a separator, but most national standards on time notation have since then been changed to the international standard colon. In some contexts, including the U.S. military and some computer protocols, no separator is used and times are written as, for example, 2359. Topic: <laughs> Midnight 0 hundred and 2400. In the 24-hour time notation, the day begins at midnight, 0 hundred, and the last minute of the day begins at 23.59. Where convenient, the notation 2400 may also be used to refer to midnight at the end of a given date, that is, 2400 of one day is the same time as 0 hundred of the following day. The notation 2400 mainly serves to refer to the exact end of a day in a time interval. A typical usage is giving opening hours ending at midnight e.g. 0 hundred to 2400 7 o'clock to 2400 Similarly some railway timetables show 0 hundred as departure time and 2400 as arrival time Legal contracts often run from the start date at 0 hundred until the end date at 2400 while the 24-hour notation unambiguously distinguishes between midnight at the start 0 hundred and end 24 hundred of any given date, there is no commonly accepted distinction among users of the 12-hour notation. Style guides and military communication regulations in some English-speaking countries discourage the use of 24 hundred even in the 24-hour notation, and recommend reporting times near midnight as 23.59 or 001 instead. Sometimes the use of 0 hundred is also avoided. In variance with this, the correspondence manual for the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps formerly specified 0001 to 2400. The manual was updated in June 2015 to use 0000 to 2359. <laughs> Times after 2400 Time of day notations beyond 2400 such as 2401 or 2500 instead of 001 or 1 o'clock are not commonly used and not covered by the relevant standards. However, they have been used occasionally in some special contexts in the UK, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong and China where business hours extend beyond midnight, such as broadcast television production and scheduling. Computer support 
In most countries, computers by default show the time in 24-hour notation. For example, Microsoft Windows and Mac OS activate the 12-hour notation by default only if a computer is in a handful of specific language and region settings. The 24-hour system is commonly used in text-based interfaces. Programs such as LS default to displaying timestamps in 24-hour format. Topic: Military time. In American and Canadian English, the term military time is a synonym for the 24-hour clock. In these dialects, the time of day is customarily given almost exclusively using the 12-hour clock notation, which counts the hours of the day as 12, 1, 11 with suffixes a, m, and p, m, distinguishing the two diurnal repetitions of this sequence. The 24-hour clock is commonly used there only in some specialist areas military, aviation, navigation, tourism, meteorology, astronomy, computing, logistics, emergency services, hospitals, where the ambiguities of the 12-hour notation are deemed too inconvenient, cumbersome, or dangerous. Military usage, as agreed between the United States and allied English-speaking military forces, differs in some respects from other 24-hour time systems. No hours, minutes separator is used when writing the time, and a letter designating the time zone is appended for example, 0340Z. Leading zeros are always written out and are required to be spoken, so 5.43 a.m. is spoken, 0543, casually, or 0543, military radio, as opposed to 543, or 543. Military time zones are lettered and thus given word designations via the NATO phonetic alphabet. For example, 6 a.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time UTC would be written 0600R and spoken 0600 Romeo. Local time is designated as Zone J or Juliet 1200J 1200 Juliet is noon local time. Greenwich Mean Time or Coordinated Universal Time is designated time zone Z and thus called Zulu time. Hours are always hundred, never thousand. One thousand is ten hundred, not one thousand. Two thousand is twenty hundred, not two thousand. Topic History. The 24-hour time system has its origins in the Egyptian astronomical system of decans, and has been used for centuries by scientists, astronomers, navigators, and horologists. In East Asia, time notation was 24-hour before westernization in modern times. Western-made clocks were changed into 12 dual hours style when they were shipped to China in the Qing dynasty. There are many surviving examples of clocks built using the 24-hour system, including the famous Orlog in Prague, and the Shepherd Gate clock at Greenwich. The first mechanical public clocks introduced in Italy were mechanical 24-hour clocks which counted the 24 hours of the day from one half hour after sundown to the evening of the following day. The 24th hour was the last hour of daytime. However, striking clocks had to produce 300 strokes each day which required a lot of rope, and wore out the mechanism quickly, so some localities switched to ringing sequences of 1 to 12 twice 156 strokes, or even 1 to 6 repeated 4 times 84 strokes. After missing a train while traveling in Ireland in 1876 because a printed schedule listed P, M, instead of A, M, Sir Sanford Fleming proposed a single 24-hour clock for the entire world, located at the center of the Earth, not linked to any surface meridian, a predecessor to coordinated universal time. He was an early proponent of using the 24-hour clock as part of a program to reform timekeeping, which also included establishing time zones and a standard prime meridian. The Canadian Pacific Railway was among the first organizations to adopt the 24-hour clock. At midsummer 1886, at the International Meridian Conference in 1884, Lewis M. Rutherford proposed, that this universal day is to be a mean solar day, is to begin for all the world at the moment of midnight of the initial meridian coinciding with the beginning of the civil day and date of that meridian, and is to be counted from zero up to 24 hours. This resolution was adopted by the conference. 
A report by a government committee in the United Kingdom noted Italy as the first country among those mentioned to adopt 24 hour time nationally, in 1893. Other European countries followed, France adopted it in 1912 the French army in 1909, followed by Denmark 1916, and Greece 1917. By 1920, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, and Switzerland had switched, followed by Turkey 1925, and Germany 1927. By the early 1920s, many countries in Latin America had also adopted the 24-hour clock. Some of the railways in India had switched before the outbreak of the war. During World War I, the British Royal Navy adopted the 24 hour clock in 1915, and the Allied Armed Forces followed soon after, with the British Army switching officially in 1918. The Canadian Armed Forces first started to use the 24 hour clock in late 1917. In 1920, the U.S. Navy was the first U.S. organization to adopt the system. The U.S. Army, however, did not officially adopt the 24 hour clock until World War II. On July 1, 1942, the use of the 24 hour clock in the United Kingdom has grown steadily since the beginning of the 20th century, although attempts to make the system official failed more than once. In 1934, the BBC switched to the 24 hour clock for broadcast announcements and program listings. The experiment was halted after five months following a lack of enthusiasm from the public, and the BBC continued using the 12-hour clock. In the same year, the U.S. Airlines Pan American World Airways Corporation and Western Airlines both adopted the 24-hour clock. In modern times, the BBC uses a mixture of both the 12-hour and the 24-hour clock. British Rail and London Transport switched to the 24-hour clock for timetables in 1964. A mixture of the 12 and 24 hour clocks similarly prevails in other English speaking Commonwealth countries. French speakers have adopted the 24 hour clock in Canada much more broadly than English speakers, and Australia also uses both systems. See also 24 hour analog dial, Traditional Chinese timekeeping clock date and time representation by country decimal time list of military time zones 6 hour clock 12 hour clock metric time time